Ooh. What is up guys, Willem over here, and today's episode of War Farm is Inaros. Released on Warframe on update 18.5 on the Sands of Inaros update, or as I like to call it, the Gods of Egypt update on Warframe. Quick note before anything, I want to show you guys the crafting requirements for this, just to save you that frustration. Nothing much really, but you are going to need a total of 319, one for the quest blueprint and two for the actual Warframe and the two Argon Crystals for the Warframe as well. I have to let you know this in advance so that by the time you get these parts, you can build them right away. You don't want to go and jump into a T3MD or a T4D just to get you those two Argon Crystals just because you didn't have them at the start or God forbid the Nitane Extract. So to get Inaros, you're going to need the Sands of Inaros quest chain which can be claimed from Baroque Tier on the Crony Relay on Saturn. By the time this video is posted, he's going to have 3 days left so better grab it while he still can. The next time he's going to show up will most likely be 2 weeks. If you're unable to get it at this time, do not worry. As per the wiki, it says that this blueprint is tradable. And a lot of people are saying that this blueprint in itself is going to be one of those things that Baroque GT will be selling as a staple. You're going to need Phobos Unlock for this or the Phobos Nav segment which is obtained by killing Sargus Rock on Saturn. Otherwise, you won't be able to buy it. Now, when you start this quest, you'll get a transmission from Baroque Etir, and he'll send you over to Optic on Phobos to go to this temple that you haven't seen before yet, it's a pretty cool shit, to get an urn. Simple as that. It's called the Sacred Vessel, and along with that, you'll be getting the Inaros Blueprint. Now, if you're familiar with Egyptian mythology or seen the mummy, you can tell that this thing is somewhat, if not a, canopic jar. And if you know what that is, you know that there's gonna be more than one of them. And in this quest chain, you'll be getting three. Each one will have a glyph on it representing an enemy and you'll be needing to kill a certain number of that enemy in order to proceed. Remember, the first thing you do once you get back to your listen is to equip the sacred vessel. Or else these kills won't count. And this isn't being tracked. The only way you're gonna know that you're making progress is you see that glyph light up like a meter and you'll know if you're killing the right enemy once your character sparks up like this after you kill it. Once you've killed enough, Baro will let you know in the middle of the mission and your character will no longer spark after killing it. And keep in mind, I'm not sure if they hotfix this but you can try it out. You do not need to finish the mission, you just, just get your kills and abort. If you're playing this quest with a friend, chances are you might get different glyphs. But what's good is, if they kill the target you need, it still counts. I'm not sure whether or not they need the vessel on though, but have them equip it on just to be safe. So your first urn will have one of these three glyphs. Whatever you get, you're gonna need to kill 60 of them, but they're pretty easy. Just do a survival or mobile defense, or you can do a capture mission, just capture the target and just live off the spawns for a more laid back way of doing it. Until Barrow lets you know you've killed enough. If you get this one, these are the infested volatile runners, they're fairly common. Found in any infested mission, so you can get these around the planet Eris. If you get this glyph, that means you need to go and kill Seekers. These are the Gunir soldiers with the brighter color and the goggles. You can find them easy on places like Kappa in the planet system of Sedna, or Mimas, the survival in Saturn. If you get this one, however, you see it's a crewman's helmet, but this one's for the Detron crewmen, they can only be found in Jupiter. They're the crewmen holding the Detrons. After that, you're gonna go back to Phobos, return the urn, and you're gonna fight these Cavits, okay? They hurt. After dispatching the Cavits, you are awarded with the helmet and your second urn, or jar. So it's basically the same thing, whatever glyph you get will correspond to what enemy you need to kill, but this time you only need to kill 20. These are higher level enemies, so it's recommended that you go and do survival or excavation missions. Again, there are one or three glyphs that you can get from this. If you get this one, that means you need to go and kill Hayeka Masters. These are the new enemy type which herd the cats or cavets. You find these on Grenier tile sets. If you get this one, good luck identifying that, you're on your own. Just kidding, these are the railgun MOAs. Every friggin MOA looks the same except these have blue legs. I got these on Pluto after a 15 to 20 minute survival, but a friend of mine recommended Europa or Neptune excavations. This one however, I'll leave it to your imagination. I bet you know exactly what this looks like. It looks like an avocado of course. But these are actually infested brood mothers. You find these most commonly on infested dark sector defenses, excavations, or anywhere with infested, or almost anywhere. After that, same deal. Take it back to the temple, but this time you're fighting a golem. But this one is more interesting. The more you break it down, the little rocks that you blow off of it come to life. And they hurt too. After that, you are awarded with the chassis. And your last urn, or jar. Same thing, one of three glyphs, but this time you only need five kills. However, these ones are trickier. 
because they have different spawn mechanics. If you get this one, that means you get a Denial Bursa. Best way I know to farm this is, you go to an exterminate, leave one enemy alive, and go into an open room while the alarms are on, and just keep waiting for these Bursas to come on. A random type of Bursa will spawn every 45 to 90 seconds. You can do this on any Corpus Tile set except Venus, Earth, or Mars. Who's that Pokemon? This is the Infested Juggernaut. You find these almost anywhere on Eris. I actually made a video on this. Basically just go to Acanth, don't kill anything yet, wait for the lights to flicker, and then just kill Infested until it spawns a Juggernaut. You want to bring a Valkyr for this. Last but not least, if you get this one, that means you get to farm the most fun one of them all. The Grenier Manic. Kind of like with the Bursa, they spawn when an alarm goes off, but this time on a Grenier tile set, what you can do with this is you lock yourself in a room and just wait for it to come at you. You can find larger quantities of these at the LOR or Law Retribution raids, or you can go Tile Regger and kill the Drekar Maddox. Those count too. And when you are finally done, this is the last urn, you take this back to the temple, and then you fight Inaros who repeatedly comes back to life after you kill him, and you gotta kill all the statues that come to life as well. And boom, you get the systems, you're completely done the whole quest chain. Head back to your ship, build your warframe, and enjoy it in all its glory. Now, you can get all of this done in less than a day. If you were mid to high level, this would be pretty easy for you. I wouldn't really recommend this to a beginner, if you don't have a tag frame or someone helping you out, but either way, it's totally worth doing. Inaros is an amazing warframe that can fill out the roles of tank, healer, crowd control, and mixed roles. Keep in mind this warframe does not have shields, but what you get in return is pretty awesome. He comes with two dash polarities, one for his aura and one for his exilus, and two deep polarities on his warframe. So off the bat, you can give him a maxed vitality after giving him a maxed energy siphon, and you can get up to 3k HP. That's 3000 HP at level 1. I shit you not, I was driving a Fomorian core at a level 4 to 5 hijack alert at level 1. But anyway, I don't want to keep you guys on too long. Just want to give a quick shout out to you guys for more than 500 subs. The growth has been amazing. Thank you all, I love you. A quick shout out to my buddy Raysung as well. He doesn't have a YouTube channel, I just play with him a lot, he's been in more than one of my videos. The guy knows his shit. I'm gonna be selling body pillows with this guy soon, or when I get big. Sorry for the shifting audio quality and tone, been tinkering with the equipment here. But I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button. If you have any more suggestions or if there's something you wanted to see, please leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. And as always, if you like this content, if you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe. New videos every week, have a great one.